Sean Books, it's Mula, aka BDK, representing Society of Alumni. What's good? The only thing I would say the difference between me and our artists is I've always wanted to be the greatest of the time. Like, I don't I don't I don't know any other way I can ever break it down or say it in any other way. It's just always a thing of I wanna be the greatest of all time. I came into Society of Alumni when I was 15. It was 2012. Alongside Naki, who was also an MC, Maggie, DJ, who also went by James Young, Baby Soul. Couple other heads. There was, there was a lot, of, a lot of people back in 2012 where I met up with Mo, who's the manager. He managed all of us at that time. He's still been managing us to this day. I was introduced to Mo with Nucky. and me, Mo, Nucky, shopping up at Vessel, dropped to an instrument at one time. We just caught the vibes. Like Mo, he, he has a lot of knowledge on music, and it was, you know, a lot of shit that we knew. So there was a lot of relation there and he was speaking a lot of shit we didn't know. So it was like dog, so we were just catching our interest. It was a real cool nigga, innit? You know what I'm saying? So I could buy it and pop up. So just caught it from there. And obviously alongside Maggie, Baby Soul, same thing, everybody caught the vibe because we was all feeling the same way, we just musical kids, you know what I mean? Like really and truly everybody just caught the vibe off the music really. Gather around children, gather around. Story time we missed them in interesting. Once we all got together we started, you know, just building, just really just kicking it in the dojo, which was the big bro Mo's crib. Just kicking it there, just really brainstorming, you know, just really going over some work, listening to some tracks. And then really it became a thing of obviously where we were talking about all of our inspirations, all the things that inspired us musically. So it would be like, you know, your Big Daddy Kane's, your Rakim's, you know what I'm saying? Um, the Tribe Called Quest, your De La Souls, just to name a few, your Death Effects. It was a lot of artists, your Redmans. There's a lot of things to it. So when we was going through all of those and talking about inspirations, this is where we started coming together with the idea to do a late renaissance project. Where we started paying homage to all of the artists that, you know, inspired us musically. You know, that, that was a dope experience, again, you know, just challenging all of our music and just really putting down the body of work, all of us coming together like that. And we were shooting some of the visuals, it was like when we was really like getting into the work, actually independent video, like all right, cool, we independent, we're about to try and make this movie, really, this is where it was, it was homage to Slick Rick, children's story. So, in the way I did that, it was a story again, so it was very cinematic. So to capture it through the film with Jams, Mo, and then King Royale was like, I right, call you man, let's let's chop it up and Nucky. And Nucky's pop shout out, you know what I'm saying? For helping and all of that. So it was like to, to get all of that together, it was, it was kinda crazy to be honest, it's kinda crazy. And at that age, you know what I'm saying, 15 going on 16 these times, it was like, ah right, shit. Like we're, we're putting in some work, we're really doing some shit. And obviously, To be fair, I was 16 when I actually started getting into it. So I had that idea of it from 15, got into it about 16. Had it done, didn't take long, it was like two weeks. Once that was finished, the whole, what OWMS is, is really like an intro. It's just a clear introduction into what mood is about. I feel like a lot of my, my music does the speaking for me. Though the interviews and all of the side things should also have another perspective of me, but give you another insight into what I'm like. It's like, I feel the music does a lot of explaining for me in that respect. So that's what OWMS is, just the introduction to who Mulu is. Society of Alumni to me is many things. It's family. Business, it's grind, it's love, pain, passion. 
know what I'm saying? Lifestyle, culture, you know what I'm saying? Daily, there's a, there's a lot of things I can associate with society when I'm not. And it's like, in one word to just sum it up, man, it's just forever. You know what I'm saying? The one word to sum it up is forever. It's really like that still. I love this music. They can never be a substitute. From stuffing baggies to scrubbing baggies inside the carnival to overcoming obstacles, others deem the impossible. Open your eyes. Even the blind can see what's in front of you, what's lingering in my dome. You can tell by my tone and the beat I feel right at home. So excuse me if I feel comfortable. Shit, I do what I love to do. Hold me responsible for some of the chapters crafted in the corner shop chronicles, graffiti, stencil or pencil, have it written in bold. Sounds of the anger from the gutters where we rose. Soldiers of achieving our dreaming carries the goal. Society of alumni don't say you haven't been told. Oh, one well, boogie baby, it's Mula. You wanna fuck with me? Got a million pound plan to get us out of this fuckery. My music weighs more than all your favorite rappers' jewelry. I know this ain't the sat that you usually see, thinking they're number one. I was still thinking from getting to two to three. Brody saying I've changed better than what I used to be. So truthfully, this music influenced me to a true MC. The trap had me trapped, these tracks ran like my braids At the back with a batch with a yak bagged in beige Same chap running waters from taps so won't bathe Boom back from the Mac, these raps have got me saved I Really and truly that It's all in the music man.